thanks to the Pridham family for sponsoring. David and Emberly Pridham are really on this mission to seek invention ideas in the Young Inventors Club Showcase. I'm telling you, these children's book authors are nonstop. So welcome to the Pridham. So glad to have you here. David, I'll start with you on this sort of invention front. You're bringing the world of inventions to kids through your series, if not you. I would love to hear why you decided to reach out to these kids specifically through invention books. Sure, well first, thank you so much for, for having us. Uh, here today, I, it's an interesting story. So I have a background in patents. I work with people inventing uh, every day or inventing everything from different types of technology to medical devices and everything in between. So we thought about uh, the fact that, you know, there's a way to convey this really important message to kids about the fact that we live in this amazing country that allows people to own their own inventions, uh, harness their own creativity. And we thought, what better way to explain this than with a series of children's books? And now we're on book number seven, I believe, and, and going strong. And we're excited about the response we're getting. Yes, that's so true. We, there are so many opportunities in our country. Okay, talk about the series. What's the core message here? Well, the, the core message to kids is uh, create, invent, capture your ideas. When we go to schools and talk to kids about uh, inventions, we talk about the fact that really everything that they interact with on a daily basis was invented, a zipper, Velcro, um, everything with a smartphone. I mean, there are tens of thousands of inventions that go into your iPhone. Um, and so people that are inventing today are building on the backs of inventions from yesterday. And when the kids hear about this and hear about the fact that they actually live in a country where they own what they create, uh, it empowers them. And that's what we want to do with our uh, book series. And really quickly, talk about this Young Inventors Club. Well, so one of the things we, one of the bits of feedback we get is we love the books. Kids tell us, but what can we do that's, that goes beyond the books? And so because of the great response, we created the Young Inventors Club, and we now have thousands of young inventors who have signed up, who uh, go through the uh, introductory process where they engage in challenges, engage in great competitions. No invention or idea is too small, and uh, it's important to uh, capture everything that you're uh, uh, thinking about, not be afraid to share it with your peers because that feedback is critical. What an incredible opportunity for kids. So this is cool. Emberly also launched a series of books that chronicle the lives of renowned women who went from nobody knowing them to becoming global icons. Okay, Emberly, what inspired you to write this series and also choose Princess Diana as your first subject? Yes, yeah, so my daughter actually inspired me. Um, I was reading to her one night a fun fiction fairy tale, as we all do, and I thought to myself, how cool would it be to read about a real princess that did exist and did so much good for the world? So, so true. Uh, what are you hoping that children come away with by reading Princess Diana, a real life fairy tale? Yeah, so I hope our kids can know that she was actually known for her kindness and her compassionate heart, someone that our kids can grow up and inspire to be like. And you are not stopping with that first one. We, Gosh, we've been following your story with that initial book for a while, but I would love to hear about your next title, Princess Grace. Yes, so I'm so excited to release Princess Grace Kelly. She did as well so much good for the world, and this book will follow her life story. Um, I'm so excited for this generation of kids to know about her. Thank you both. Thank you for pouring into not only your own children, but to, into all of ours. I sincerely appreciate it. So the website's here, ifnotyoubooks.com and also reallifefairytale.com. What we will do is link them both with this story on our website, CW33. Dot com.